Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. King shit. Okay. Hello, my so we go to Vegas. And we beat up with the beginning and we bumped them. Both games was like two or three point game. And they came, they kicked it with us, you know what I mean? And, and was there backing us for the championship game. So it was like a lot of love, man, at the time. Now AU is big, you know, AU ball is big in Minnesota. And, and people was doing their thing, you know, nationwide. And it's amazing. Some people are like, oh, it's black people in Minnesota, you know what I mean? But we've been nice, you know what I mean? Get there, I gotta be good enough for the inner city game. That's all that matters, you know what I'm saying? Like everything else is cool, but let me make it to this game real quick. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was, that's what it was. So, let me ask you, what do you feel the inner city all-star classic is doing for you to prepare you for college? Giving me opportunity to play against, I guess, the best in the state. The same, you know, getting ready for college, getting prepared, give me some competition instead of like the season. So that's pretty much what it's doing for me. I think that it's bringing our community together. So like when we go to college, we know where we stand, and we know where we stand, and that like we come from a long line of history and legends. So to represent ourselves respectfully as we go on. Right, I agree with that, and it kind of gave us like, like this is like a weird moment of our lives, you know, if you don't play a spring sport and stuff like that, and you're getting ready to go up to college, it kind of gave us something else to work for, get ready for, it gave us another opportunity to play, you know, at a, at a different time, <laughs> right. You found me new. Here we go, the documentary. Yo, this, this look, this is Shire Rich right what here. What up, fellas? What's now up? check this out. Now we want to talk about the game. I'm talking about how much it spread, right? First year, right here, 94. 94, first year. Still when, got my uniform. And you know what I'm saying? When we created it. Now see how much love this is? You know what I'm saying? We just we just hitting corners on the north side, and boom, who do we run into? And it's like family right here, real talk. You know what I'm saying? Basketball, 1976. <laughs> 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 it's all love. It's all love. Yeah, Ball here in Minnesota is having five players and no subs seven years ago, and now you've got 20 players enough right. for uh, two ro two rosters of five if you wanted to. It's a good sign. It's really good. It means that Minnesota girls basketball is really stepping up. Hopefully, hopefully there'll be even more players, you know, in the next years to come. Hey, hey. I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in. And I'm a go hard, and I'm a 